How could a pyramid become a water supply? Find out next on today's Creation Moments. And now, here's our Creation Moments host, Ian Taylor. When one hears the term pyramid builders, one usually thinks of the Egyptians, Incas, or the Aztecs. Their famous pyramids were built for religious purposes, but you may not know that the Greeks also built pyramids. But, as we might expect of the Greeks, their pyramids served a practical, everyday purpose. There are 13 identified Greek pyramids. They are about 2,500 years old. The 40-foot high pyramids are located in the hills around the cities of Theodosia and the Crimea. They are constructed of loose limestone rocks through which the arid wind of the region can blow. As the cooling evening wind blows through the loose arrangement of rock, what moisture there is in the wind condenses upon the rocks. That condensation flows to the base of the pyramid where it was collected and piped to the city for use. A study of the clay pipes running from the pyramids led one archaeologist to calculate that each pyramid could produce a surprising 14,000 gallons of water per day. These ingenious and practical pyramids reflect the truth that man has always been intelligent. Perhaps you didn't even know that water could be condensed from the atmosphere in usable amounts in this way, but the pyramids meant temporary survival in a dry climate. Permanent survival only comes from the living water that Christ gives through the forgiveness of sins. His water gives eternal life. To get a complete set of transcripts from Creation Moments programs, ask about the book Letting God Create Your Day when you visit us online at creationmoments.com or give us a call at 1-800-42-BIBLE and join us again for another Creation Moment, proclaiming evidence of God's truth.